Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the changes available on Windows 11 build 22635.3566, also known as the update KV503702. This update is available through the Vera channel and it includes several improvements for File Explorer, the Taskbar, Copilot and the Start menu. Let's dive into the changes for build 22635.3566, but before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, in File Explorer, the company is bringing the ability to drag and drop files in the uh, breadcrumbs of the address bar. So that means that now you can navigate inside of a folder and if you want to move a specific folder to a path within the uh, breadcrumb, you can now do that. So you just simply need to drag the file into the location that you want to move it and just drop it and now the file is going to move to that location in the same path. Although this is a new feature for the file manager on Windows 11, it was a feature available in previous versions, but now it's back. Starting with this release, another feature or another change that Microsoft did not mention is that now you can right click on the tab for the File Explorer and we're now going to find a duplicate tab option. And as the name implies, it will allow you to duplicate the tab on the same path. So if you're doing something on this particular path and you need to do something else on a different path, but you don't want to lose the original location, you can just duplicate and just keep on browsing and do whatever it is that you need to do. As part of the rollout of Windows 11 version 23H2, the company introduced native support for RAR, TAR, and 7-zip archival formats. However, the feature wasn't totally complete as you could only extract files. Starting with build 22635.3566, the operating system now hides a new interface to create ZIP as well as 7Z and TAR archival formats. Now, this support has been available through the Canary and Dev channel for some time, but now it seems that the feature is almost ready for users in the Vera channel. So now if you have the latest update for Windows in the Vera channel, you can now right click on a particular file or folder and you will see this option right here that allows you to create a zip 7z or tar file. But if you go to the additional options, it will open this new create archive UI that will allow you to choose from different formats that you can create for tar, zip and 7zip with different compression methods that you can use. You can also change the compression method. And you have like these two options that you can also configure depending on the archival format that you're using. And then just simply click the create button and that will create the archival format. When using this integration, note that it is not possible to open or create archival formats with encryption using passwords. If you want to use these features, you will probably be better off using third party tool such as 7zip. Also, as part of this release, the development team is bringing back the show desktop button on the bottom right corner of the taskbar. So technically the feature never was removed from the operating system, but it was disabled by default. But now after feedback, now the company is enabling it by default on every installation. Now you can always control this option by right clicking the taskbar and then going to the taskbar settings. And from here, you can you can enable or disable Copilot so it will not interfere with the show desktop option, or you can turn this on and then make sure to turn on or off this option right here. If you clear the option, the button on the bottom right corner of the taskbar is going to be disabled. And if you want to enable it again, just check it and then it will appear on the bottom right. Now, on Windows 11, build 22635.3566, you're also going to find that going to the Start menu on the All Apps menu, the company has updated the interface. You will still see the new grid design to display the icons, but now the interface looks more complete. In previous releases of the operating system and the Vera channel included a similar design. However, you will have the device at the top that looks like the design wasn't still finished, but this one looks more polished and you can continue to click the letter to open the dial and just jump to a different part into the menu. And you have access to folders, which apparently is still crashes the start menu. So it's still not entirely complete the new design. Okay, I could not enable this on my particular installation, 
But now on the Copilot in Windows settings page, you will not only find the options to control whether the chatbot AI opens automatically on large displays, but it appears that Copilot will now open by default when you hover over the icon on the taskbar. And if you don't like that behavior, Microsoft is building an option right here on this page, which is this one right here that you can turn off to disable that particular behavior. So you actually have to click the button to open the, the chat box. This page also includes the option to disable the Copilot shortcut menu when copying text or image to the clipboard, but that was something already available in previous releases. Now, it is important to know that currently the duplication tab and the archive creation are hidden features and you must enable them manually using the byte tool, which you can download from this GitHub page. And the only thing you have to do is just to download the latest version available. You need to open the download, extract the files. Now you need to copy the path, then open start and look for the terminal or command prompt, right click and select the run semi-server option. We're going to use the CD command and the path to open the path where we have the Vive tool extracted. And then for example, to enable duplicate tabs on File Explorer, we need to use this particular command and to enable the new create archive interface, you need to use this particular command and then just restart the computer and you should be able to see these new features on your computer. And that's it. Those were pretty much the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 22635.3566 or update KV50 37002. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.